Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Redmond.com. So Xiaomi has recently rolled out a new update for Redmi Note 11 phones, but after solving that update, many have said that their phone is stuck in a boot loop or is constantly rebooting. This happens as soon as they unlock their phone. Once they do so, their device gets stuck to a recovery mode or reboot to the OS after a period of 5-6 seconds. So as soon as the user unlocks their phone, within 5-6 seconds, their device either gets booted to recovery mode or gets booted back to the OS. But this issue is continuously going on in a boot loop situation. So why is this happening? Well, the latest update seems to have caused a few issues with the com.qualcom process. So to rectify this issue, you will have to remove this process from your phone. And in this video, we'll show you how to do just that. So let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to install the Android SDK platform tools on your PC. The link has been given in the description. Go there and download it. Once downloaded, extract it anywhere on your PC. Upon extraction, you should get the following files. Now comes the most challenging part. You will have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So first and foremost, let me show you the general way of doing so. After that, we will show you how you could do so when your device is in a boot loop. For the general way, you go to the settings, go to about phone and tap on MUI version 7 times. As soon as you do so, you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Once that is done, go back. Then go to the additional settings menu and within additional settings, go to developer options and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. Let me show you once. Yes, enable the toggle and you will now get a prompt on your phone. You will have to wait 10 seconds. So wait for 10 seconds and this is the issue that is happening. If you wait for 10 seconds, your device will again go to a boot loop. So I will show you how to bypass this issue as well. Let me show you the generic way. Generally, you have to check mark I am aware and then tap OK. With this, the USB debugging has been enabled. So now go to the platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch a new command prompt window and it will automatically pick up the directory of platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, then click on revoke USB authorization and then carry out the process once again. Let me show you. To revoke this authorization, tap on OK and then disable debugging and re-enable it. So you will again get a prompt. As mentioned, I am showing you the generic way. After that, I will show you how to do so for your phone when it's stuck in a boot loop. Because this, you will not be able to pass this 10 second time period if you are stuck in a boot loop. So I will show you just that as well. So enable debugging and then type ADB devices and make sure you are getting a prompt. Also check mark always allow from this computer and tap OK. Then hit enter and you should now get a device code followed by the device serial ID. Now in case your device is in a boot loop, you will not be able to carry out so many tasks at once. So for that, as soon as your device restarts, go to Play Store and search for USB debug app. Let me show you once and then open this app. Chances are while this page might get loaded, your phone will again go to a restart. Not an issue. As soon as your phone restarts, tap open Play Store and tap on the search icon. This time you should see the app name already there. So, so just select it and it will load this page. So tap on it and install it. The app is approximately 1 or 2 MB. So it should be installed in a few seconds. Once the app has been installed, leave your phone in this state and let it restart. When the phone restarts once again, Open the app and it will now take you directly to the developer option page. So you have saved valuable 3-4 seconds. Now store here and enable USB debugging. So with this, you should be able to enable USB debugging quite fastly and you should not face any issues as such. Once you have done this, let me once again recall what you have to do. Open Play Store and search for the USB debug app. If your device go to a restart, not an issue, again launch Play Store and select the same from the search result. You will be taken here then just install this app and let your phone restart and once you have got this app whenever you tap on the app icon yes one more thing the name of the app is apr so keep this in mind so launch this app and you will be taken to developer option and from there you could enable usb debugging quite fastly once that is done your next course of action is go to your pc and from your pc type in adb shell this will open the shell environment and you might now get a prompt on your phone. If you get any prompt, make sure to tap on OK. If you do not get any prompt, that's also well and good. Finally, you will have to uninstall the com.qualcom.location from your phone. For that, I've given the command. So just 
scroll to the end of this guide and you just need to copy paste this command pm uninstall kuser0.com.qualcom location so copy this command and paste it here and hit enter as soon as you do so the process will be removed from your pc from your phone and the issue should be fixed so guys this was all from this video on how you could fix the constant reboot issue on redmi note 11 if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks for watching